Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, here I am. We're back for another commuter uh, devlog. Thanks for everybody for sticking around. Uh, there was some pretty catastrophic uh, things that happened in the last couple weeks. Um, the main thing being um, my computer blew up. Well, not literally blew up. Like, I'm fine. But obviously it... Uh, it uh, kind of hindered our game development here, so uh, that's been fixed, which is good. Um, and thankfully, we didn't lose everything. Uh, backups are key, so if you are an aspiring developer or really anything in life, back up your stuff, because otherwise, all the work I would have been done is gone. Uh, but luckily, that's not the case. So we're here. Uh, this is version 0 0.8 of Commuter. Um, a lot of the things in this update were uh, bug fixes for the most part. Um, when we got a new computer, we completely not only changed platforms, uh, so I'm now coding on a Mac versus a PC. Um, I don't want to get into the PC versus Mac debate, but for me and for what I do, um, and for Unity, it makes more sense. So anyways, I just got to, had to fix a bunch of things that when I moved over to the Mac, I found was happening. So uh, when we launch, I wouldn't have known that. So thankfully, now I can test both. So we're good. Um, design changes, uh, we'll go over quickly. So at the start here, um, no more ugly Unity default buttons here. There's now nice uh, buttons that highlight do things. The quit button now works again, so now the user can quit the game without having to Alt F4, which is super important. A um, couple other design changes we changed, so there's now color on the uh, dot matrix UI up here on the right. Um, obviously these colors change depending on how you're doing in the game. Uh, the morning rush and time up here is, uh, just turn that down a bit, um, is not uh, like anything game performance wise is just based off the time of day so you know in the morning it's nice and sunny so uh, it's yellow during the day it'll be like a bluish color at night it gets to like a like a oh, what's the word I'm looking for like an indigo blue kind of color like a darker color so it's kind of cool um, on the right here so the, the frequency the happiness all that stuff will change based off of how you're doing in the game frequency the higher the frequency uh, which I can't change in this menu uh, will obviously get redder happiness lower it gets a darker color etc etc so uh, another thing we changed in the ui quickly was we kind of cleaned up the um the line markers here we got rid of that ugly thing that stuck around when it was, was a mobile game originally uh that's fixed and i upped the pixel per inch so it's and the resolution of this so it's a little bit more crisper with uh with what we're doing um i've centered this just made this all uh, look a little bit nicer and more aligned in the monitor. Okay, um, so I just wanted to make sure that this doesn't crash the game. No, okay, so uh, in the signal controller, uh, which we debuted on the last devlog, uh, which I don't think was a video devlog, or it was, doesn't matter. Um, this is just a little bit more refined. We tweak some of the offline spawning and um, spawn time for passengers who are arriving so they don't all rush at once. There's a bunch of stuff that we changed on the signal side of things that made this uh, a little bit more efficient. Um, yeah, which is super, super cool. Um, so now as we go along, we can see that there's equal spacing. What was happening was there was bunches up happening because trains were sitting at stations too long because there was a bug in the offline spawning and, and uh, stuff like that. Now, just to clarify what we mean by offline, is that's when you're not in the station so because the game is currently running in the background there's players theoretically standing in these stations so in windermere right now i don't know how many because i don't have i don't have access to my like development controller but right now there's players waiting for this train so there's a train uh that just left with 71 people on that means while we were talking 71 people boarded that train uh so that there was an error in that where it wasn't aligned with uh, what we were wanting. So in theory, you would be in station and this would only be, you know, 45, where offline it would be like 210 uh, because it wasn't calculating the math right. But 
that's been fixed so we're good so 71 people would have been on that train whether you were in the station or not in the station um so let's go into windermere while that loads we will just let that do its thing while the game processes everything and spawns all the people so um as you can see at the top we added a bunch of color to this um same with up here to be more in line with the rest of the game um one of the things we tweaked when the design was we when you click the frequency panel it brought up a big frequency panel down here that's gone i've made it more in line i just need to fix the spacing here so this doesn't look so bunched up but now you can adjust the frequency here but you can't go any shorter than um one minute 30 just for certain purposes uh happiness still doesn't do anything players per minute's pretty accurate um what else did we do so bug fixes what do i got here we fixed the issue where you can launch a signal map but can't go so if you launched the signal map by pressing spacebar which hopefully doesn't crash the game because that was the thing that was happening um you couldn't get out of it <laughs> so uh uh, you couldn't go back to the main menu by hitting space you would go into the signal map And then you would have to go back into the station by clicking the station to get back to the main menu So now if you press spacebar, uh, that's fixed. Uh, there was a fair cal calculation bug at Windermere station So what was happening was when the players was boarding the trains uh, I'm trying not to move my mouse over the train because I don't want to spoil the new feature, but uh, When the players were boarding the trains the, the money wasn't calculating accurately. It would just keep ticking up and up and up and up and up. And then vice versa, when the train would depart and calculate how much it would cost to depart that train based off of the economy of the game, it was, you know, deducting millions of dollars from uh, from the current the player's funds, which is not cool. So that's fixed. So now uh, when the player boards the train, it charges the appropriate ticket price to what they set. I haven't made it so you can set anything yet, but that's coming. Uh, soon uh, What else fixed spawning and train departure issue at Windermere? So uh, there because this is a terminal station and trains are coming from the top. There was a bug where um, Basically right now because we're in station some a player spawns and it adds a tally saying yep Okay, this player is in a station and then the sprite so to speak is in a station then when it boards the train it changes moves that tally from one on the station to one on the train um what was happening was it would you know tally onto the train which is great but it wasn't removing it from the station so if the player left the station and came back it would respawn hundreds of people and continuously respawn which was a bug i was experiencing in mobile which i couldn't actually fix that was the issue um just one line of code which is such an amazing uh thing to experience as i'm learning this development stuff uh that it just takes one line to completely screw up the game but that's fixed hopefully uh we fixed an issue where the frequency timer was not saving for some reason so what that means is when i go to the the signal map here uh so there's trains with you know this train has 322 people on it this one has 64 um, it was not saving so when you exited the game uh, Everything would be cleared back to zero which um, It's not cool. So that's not doing that anymore uh, We fixed the issue where when reload too many sorry What is this fixed issue when reload to main menu happens signals would clear which I just talked about Oh frequency timer Sorry when I mean frequency timer uh, the frequency wasn't saving so if you exited the game uh, It would default back to the default. Sorry. That's what I fixed uh, Fixed issue where fares would not count if player was not in Station so that kind of goes back to the other issue that I was talking about earlier So if you were in offline mode as we say the fares weren't counting yeah, it just wasn't working. So the players would board the train, but it wasn't actually counting the fares. So that bug was fixed. And another bug that we fixed was uh, the train's capacity bar. <laughs> oh, yeah. So in the old, uh, in the other versions we had, when you go in the station, the train has a little capacity bar on it. That at the top here, you'll see on the right there. Uh, that bar and the white bar there. Uh, was floating so it was layered over top of everything in the game uh that's fixed so now it will be accurately attached to the train 
Um, what are the th couple things we tweaked? So we just tweaked some timing uh, on the hub stations here to be a little bit more of control of the master game. We still got a lot more tweaking we need to do with that, but uh, it's a little bit more functional now. Um, and from a testing standpoint, now that we're, as I mentioned, running this on a Mac, uh, the game is now Mac compatible, uh, which is great because that's an important factor. Uh, believe it or not, people game on Macs and we want that to be a big part of our platform. So uh, finally, and you may have seen some teasing of this uh, during this devlog, uh, we've added a new feature because every devlog, I want to at least add a new feature for you guys to see. And once we release this to play, so the feature is uh, that when you run your mouse over the train, you get this little UI that pops up on the left and this one on the right. So in this case on the left, this train, the arrives in uh, states that the train, the next train is arriving. So this train arrives in one minute because this is a terminal station and this train departs in 20 seconds and this train, there's nothing to depart. So it's saying, hey, check the other one. Uh, if we go to uh, Midland Station, which we'll go over here, let that load. You can kind of see, I gotta fix it so it doesn't do it during the loading screen, but uh, in this case, uh, it says northbound instead of terminal. Uh, and it arrives, the train arrives in a minute and departs, doesn't know. This one just departed, so you can't see it. Uh, so we'll just wait for this one to arrive, which is arriving now, which is great. So when we go back over, once the UI turns back on after it's done loading, there we go. So it'll say it departs in, you know, 10 seconds, depending on what the dwell time is for that station. It also says arrives in station. This one says another train arrives southbound in one minute. And obviously this will change uh, line numbers based off of what line you're on. Uh, but the other thing that is there is you see the little green lines. I can't move my mouse over to show, but you see the green lines. That is your indication that the trains are active on that side. So if something is happening on the line uh, or the station is not going to be serviced by an incident, which is a big feature that's going to come in the future, um, those uh, will be yellow and or red, depending on what's going on, uh, which is cool. So if you're just like short turning, say at a station, uh, those will become yellow to say it's going the other way uh, big feature a big UI thing that I think is super important for the game um, Because when you're in station Before you didn't know what kind of was going on instead of going to you'd have to go to the signal map to see when the next train comes This is a quick way that you can actually see uh, What's going on in the station? Uh, yeah, so super super cool and even if you hide the UI you can still have that pop up Which is great so, as we watch this train depart, uh, thank you so much for watching uh, this version of Commuter. Uh, I, I don't have a time frame for when this is going to be out. I'm a single man project here, uh, solo, doing this all by myself. So, development will be, you know, good on some weeks, not good on others. But I thank you all for sticking around. Uh, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, uh, for some more teaser videos. We also have a Discord all those links will be in the description down below. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for being patient. And thanks for your support. I will see you guys next time.